Okay, I'm going to move to multicollinearity now. This first part you normally wouldn't have to do, but I'm creating a data frame and I needed to have the price difference in there, which is a variable that I created in the data set. Just turned out the easiest thing for me to do was to write that data set to uh, my working directory, detach the car seats. Then I went into the CSV file and calculated price difference there and then read it in as my data and attached it. So if you have your variable in the data set, you won't have to do anything like that. Uh, this is just because I created a variable in the data set. Well, anyway, I've done all of that. And so now I'm going to create my variables, just a list of the um, explanatory variables in this data set. And then I'm going to create a new data frame with just those variables in it, and then run the, um, uh, this is from a, uh, a script to uh, calculate a correlation coefficient. It's in one of my other videos, and it's located way up here in my file, but um, I'll have a link to that on my website. Uh, if you're in my class, you already have that. So anyway, here we go. I'm just going to those things in here and I get this correlation matrix um, histograms down the middle and then there's some graphs and then I'm just going to look at the correlations uh, among the explanatory variables and looking to see if any of those exceed 0.7 which they don't so we're good by that criterion another way to check is with the uh, variance inflation factor and we just want to keep those under 10, between 5 to 10 is questionable. Above 10, you definitely don't have it. Um, but all of ours are just right around 1. That's, a, that's pretty good. Uh, I was going to show you also, if you use the um, uh, SJ, MISC, and plot packages, you, there's something else you can do that'll get plot the VIFs and then some other things. Let's go ahead and just run that. And the first thing you see there is the homoscedasticity thing that we've looked at before. It does add a little line there to see it, where you can check whether or not we've gone off the, uh, I'll call it off the reservation very much, and we haven't. But uh, that's residuals, residuals, which we're going to get into next. But here's just a plot of the variance and inflation factors. And as you can see, anything below 5 fits into the good category. And then 5 to 10 tolerable, obviously, if we went outside of that. Uh, we would have something that was above the tolerability for our multicollinearity stuff. Okay, and that's that for this.